This is the story of Rick, Nancy, Sue, George, Lance, David, Patty, Karen, Betsy, Martha, Scott, Tyler, and me. You won't see much of me as I was perpetually behind the lens, but despite this, I'm honored to share my journey of this hauntingly beautiful place. This is a story of adventure, community, heartache, hard work, and hard lessons. This is the story of our journey to Ecuador. Good morning. It is uh, nine o'clock on a Saturday morning, and the uh, the bags are packed, and we're ready to go to Ecuador. Let's do it. Morning. Welcome to worship. It's great to see everyone here today and a special word of welcome to those of you who are tuning in via the live stream. We're glad to have you with us as well. While our own church was worshiping back home, we were busy worshiping at Toka Gones Church. The services are performed in the native language of Quechua, but the passionate delivery and meditative underscore create a multi-sensory experience in any language. Buenos dias. Alipunja. Good morning, everybody. Porque ellos nos ayudan. I say thanks to God because you are coming here to help us with your labor and of course with your money too. Because you are sending the resources to help Juanita. You are sending the resources to help and now you are here to help us to finish the house. I'm so happy for this. I'm so grateful for this. Ahora quiero darle la palabra al pastor Tyler Heston. Él es un pastor, un jovencito, ¿verdad? The majority of them uh, talk Spanish and Quechua. All of us talk Spanish and English. I speak a little English too. And Tyler speaks a little Spanish too. Yeah? But all of us talk one language. 
the love, the God, again, because we are one in Jesus Christ. Si no puedo hablar en español como quiero, pero voy a atentar. No puedo hablar en inglés también, pero... <laughs> pero estamos mucho más emocionados que estar aquí con ustedes hace dos y tres porque cuatro, no sé, um, años que estamos aquí. Yo estaba aquí con un grupo de jóvenes um, quien pintamos el mural allá que dice todo el mundo. Um, y creemos que todo el mundo es uno en Dios. Y, es, y creemos que estamos uno familia uh, en Dios también. Y estamos muy emocionados que estaba aquí con ustedes. Tokagon is one of the many areas that has benefited from the work of our partner organization, Fidise. In fact, right around the corner from the church is Tokagon's daycare. This was the work location for our church youth trip in 2019. Fidise is an acronym. The full title is the Ecumenical Foundation for Integral Development, Training, and Education. It's also the combination of two Spanish words, fe and dice, or faith says. I had an opportunity to interview Blanca Pumo Martinez, the executive director of FEDICE, to tell us more. FEDICE supports uh, the majority of families from the communities. When we talk about the communities here, we talk about the uh, rural areas not in the big cities, not in Quito, not in Otavalo. We talk and we work with the people from the communities. Communities means a group of families that have common resources, common needs, common objectives. And especially our activities is with women groups. However, I need to clarify, when I say women groups, it's not just women, it's the family. The situation is that women um, must spend time in the communities, taking care of the animals, taking care of the children, sometimes taking care of the husband, taking care of everything. So the women spend the time, the majority of time. For the reason we decide to work with organized women group. The majority of our projects are through credits, through loans. When we start to work with some groups on one community, uh, we follow um, the situation that they already know. For example, they used to raise um, guinea pigs or pigs or chickens and sheep. They organize a group and we start to talk about our policies. So like a bank in the US, Ferise provides resources to local communities in the form of loans. But that is where the similarities end. While a U.S. bank will loan money purely as a business transaction, Fidice takes a far more holistic approach. The main important, actually, uh, point with Fidice is train the people, not just de deliver the money, not just the resources, training the people. We talk with the people and we say, okay, we are, we are going to organize a project with you, we are going to deliver resources, but you must participate in training. You must participate in the activities. We are not a bank. We are an organization. 
we are a social organization. It's important for us the resources, yes, but the most important is the social resource, the human resource. As I said, when we train the people, our idea is after one year, they can do the activities by themselves. But recently, Felice has been able to branch out even further by supporting projects in which the beneficiary of the project cannot afford a loan. This reaches at the heart and soul of Felice's purpose, summed into one word that Blanca calls Minga. We have here a very important word for us is Minga. Minga means working together. Minga means many hands working together with the same object. One of the very important points in this Minga, especially from the beneficiaries, the family, is labor. And labor is money too. They work, they participate, with, not with resources, not with the money because they don't have, but there are many, many ways to participate in this Minga. Here are some examples of some other Fidice projects that we visited on our trip. Blanca informed us that for our mission trip, we would be there to help a woman named Juanita. And her story is not for the faint of heart. Uh, Juanita, for example, as you said, we have more examples in than other communities, but in this case, you know about Juanita. The bad situation with Juanita is um, Aidan's mother, Jennifer, was um, killed. The father, the Aidan's father, uh, murdered her. Especially during the pandemic, uh, thanks to God, I used to say with, with frequency, the, the daycare center, just the building closed the doors. The people from the daycare center, the teachers, the mothers needs to continue working. So they do uh, home visitings. In one of the home visitings, they, um, they realize about the situation at Juanita's house. Uh, what's happened with Juanita's house is a very, very bad situation, very, very bad conditions that they live. Um, um, six, eight, seven people in just one room. In this case of Juanita, for example, it was necessary to build a new house. Of course, it's not possible for Juanita as a, to ask for a credit because they don't have resources. So we start to talk with the friends from the communities around. We start to talk with the local government. Uh, we prepare a budget. I said, okay, for example, for Juanita's uh, construction, the, 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 the house for Juanita's, we need around 
the majority of them, yes, we are ready to we are ready to help Juanita. We are ready. We are here, Blanca, but no resources because because we don't have. So I say, okay, you can work with them, with Mingas. You can participate in Mingas. Yes. Some of them say, okay, uh, we don't have resources. It is not possible for us to to go to to participate in the Minga, but we can send some. Uh, sandwich we can send some fruits we can send some uh, food yeah minga is minga everything is well everything is welcome here and they participate we and then the, the minga is increasing and increasing and increasing is this the main idea with juanitas and for the reason we decide to start this kind of minga Always, always, I try to see the positive side of the things. Always, it's part of my life. It's part of the activities. It's not positive that uh, Jennifer died, of course. But what is the positive side of this? Is we can know about Juanita. We can know about the Juanita needs help. And the positive side is always Minga. That is the idea. You are part of this minga. You are part of this uh, this blessing to the people. You are a blessing for us. We are a blessing for the people from the communities. They are a blessing for us. Because without the people, without communities, uh, it's not possible for Pedice to continue working.
this is the point where, due to a technical error, no audio was being recorded. I didn't notice until we returned to the hotel and I reviewed the footage. I was devastated. How could I complete the story without any audio of the grand celebration? The speeches. The voices and laughter that signified the culmination of our great adventure. We gathered at our familiar dinner table that evening, as we had every night, though I felt broken, as if I had let down the very group that entrusted me to tell this story. But the Lord works in mysterious ways. As dinner closed, a San Juanito band scurried into the dining hall and struck up some music. As we began to dance, the laughter and joy of these people that I've come to know and love was intoxicating. The pressure I put on myself all week began to melt away, and the overwhelming sense of tears began to form in my eyes. The true meaning of Minga had finally struck me like a bolt of lightning. I remember something Juanita said to us at the celebration. I lost my daughter, but thanks to God, I gained this family. Still raw with emotion, I knew the way to end my story. It turns out that this journey was never about documenting a thank you speech. It was never about us needing to paint a house, really. This is a story about experiencing the love of God through the building of a community. Whether we were working and celebrating alongside our Ecuadorian friends, or enjoying our fleeting moments together at the hotel, the love of God is witnessed in the community that we share. God is community. Minga is community. God is Minga. She said, thank you so much. Thank you so much for this house. Thank you so much to Felice, to me. Again, just God led me to be an instrument. I, so, I, I feel so happy to be here I mean, on the call of Jennifer, Aidan's mother. I want to say thank you so much. Por la ayuda brindada tanto a la casita de Aidan y a nuestro centro infantil y por los momentos que hemos compartido con todos ustedes en las actividades con nuestros niños, reciban con mucho cariño de parte de Centro Infantil Retoñitos. Thank you, Lord.
Thank you. 